This video I'll build step by step a bot for TikTok that can send comments on different videos on TikTok automatically. We will use Python programming language and PyAuto GUI framework to build this bot and I will show you step by step uh, how to build this. We need some few things before starting with this video. So what you need is just to install Python first. You can just go to this website, you can find the link in the description to download Python or you can go to Microsoft Store to download it for your Windows computer. Another thing that we need is the Android simulator where we can run TikTok app on it. I'll choose a uh, blue stack for today. You can download any simulator you want. It, it just need to have a uh, TikTok installed on it. Another thing that I, we need is a code editor. I, I prefer to use Visual Studio code. You can download it too if you want. All the links are in the description. Okay, I have Python downloaded and installed on my computer and also I have installed blue stack. Open blue stack right now to make sure that you have a TikTok downloaded and installed on your blue stack simulator and also you have to make sure to log in your account. You can download TikTok by going to Play Store and just search for TikTok and make sure to install it but I have already installed so I'll go ahead and open TikTok right now so here I have TikTok and I'll keep it just in uh, on the side of my computer. Keep it in the, the edge of the screen here. So make sure to keep it in one location and don't move your TikTok app in different locations because this is going to break the bot. I'll keep TikTok here. Okay, now I'll create a new folder into the desktop. Here I'll call just TikTok bot and inside this folder I have to open this folder inside uh, the Visual Studio Code. So let's go ahead and open Visual Studio Code and just click on the file and open folder then go to desktop and open TikTok bot folder now what you have to do is to create two files and I will first I will move this on the right side of the screen so I can see the TikTok app here and here I will have the code now we, we have to create two files two Python files and the first one is uh, I'll call it just get lock dot py and the second one and to create a file just click on this plus button here and the second one is main dot py so the first one get lock I want to use this to get location or position of the, my mouse so to get this uh, I will just write some code that can generate the position x axis and y axis of the position of the mouse so first we have to install a uh, pi out the GUI framework so to install it you need terminal and just click on the terminal menu here click on new terminal and here will pop up the terminal inside the VS code and to install PyAuto GUI just type pip install PyAuto GUI. Okay now PyAuto GUI is installed. I can minimize this and here on the code I'll have to first import PyAuto GUI. So just type import PyAuto GUI and now to get the location, I have to first save uh, the location and uh, positions in a variable. So I'll create two variable x and y. And this is going to equal to pi out of GUI dot position. So this is going to save the numbers of the position in these two variables. And I also print them so I can uh, easily get them from terminal. So I just print and I'll type x plus and I'll put a comma and plus y. Before executing this code I have to make sure to turn these two variables into strings because I can't uh, merge them into a string because they are already uh, integers. So to turn them to strings just type str and put them on braces. Let's do the another one and make sure to be uh, like this. So you have to stringify your x variable and your y variable and also I added a comma between these two numbers. So now I have to save the file just press Control and S. And I can run a test on uh, here on terminal. So let's make this larger. And here on terminal, just type python get lock dot py. Press enter. And as you can see, it printed two numbers, the x and y, and also a comma between them. And every time I move the mouse, so I'll keep the mouse here. And I run the code again. And to run directly run the code, just press up key on your keyboard. And this will... Uh, run the last command you run in the terminal and press enter again. Then as you can see it's a different code and if I move uh, it again and run it again it's different numbers again. So we need this uh, 
this small script here just to get to generate this uh, position. So now I can close this get location.py and here on main.py uh, I have to build the bot. First let's import again by auto GUI and now what I have to do is we have to click on the comment uh, icon. So first we have to click on this comment then we have to send write the comment and then send it and then switch to another video. So first I will, I will save the comment in a variable so I'll just type comment equal to input and I will get this uh, ver this comment from the input of the user. So I'll just type here, uh, please put your comment. And now I have comment on the, that variable. And first let's uh, click on that icon that I, we sh I showed you before. So to do this, you have just type pi auto GUI dot click. And inside these brackets, you have to paste the position that we generated right here. So now let's generate another position for this icon here. So what you have to do first, just click on the terminal, make sure to click here and then move the mouse over the icon of comments here on the app and leave it there. So now we have to press the up key and just press enter. Then it will generate you this number here. So just copy this number and make sure to paste it inside this brackets. And then the bot is going to click on that immediately. And also I will import here on the import, I will import time, or maybe I just type it below. So from uh, time import sleep. And I will use this sleep just to, to pause the script for some seconds. So just type sleep and I'll type here one second. Then after clicking on the icon, on the comment icon, I'll sleep again for uh, one second. So let me put a comment here, uh, commenting. And then after we click on that, so we clicked here, what you have to do is to click on the comment box. So just click on the comment box. Uh, click on the terminal and move the mouse again in over the comment box. Press up key and generate again another location. So copy this location and here below you have to type again pyautogui.click because we want to click again. And inside here just paste this uh, numbers that we generated from the script. We just clicked here. And also I want to sleep again. So just sleep for one second. And then after we clicked, what we have to do is just to write the comment. So we want to write this comment that we uh, have here from, that we got from the user. And to write the comment, just uh, go below in the next line and type by autogui dot write. And inside the brackets, just put comment. And now what I have to do, so for example, we type the comment here. This is a comment. And what, what we have to do now, we, we have to click on this icon, the send icon or submit icon. So let's click again in the terminal and move the mouse over the uh, icon, the submit icon, and then uh, up key on the terminal and press enter. And this will generate again the position of this submit button. So copy this position and I will also sleep again for one second and then I'll pyautogui.click and I'll paste again this location. So after typing the comment, we, we click on send and the comment is sent. What we have to do now is to click this X icon to close the, the section of the comments. So let's sleep again. So sleep for one second and by autogui.click and inside here we have to get again the position so click on the terminal go move your mouse over the X icon or the X button and up key and then generate press enter then it generates again so let's copy this and paste it here now we close this so we clicked on it and we close it Okay, now let's do a test. Let's save this file and just test our bot if it's working or not. And to test it, go to terminal and type python main.py. 
and I will move this in the next video so here on this video and let's press enter asks you please put your comment so the comment is this is a test comment you can do any comment you want and press enter then it will click on that write the comment and send it okay our script worked perfect so okay now what we have to do now is to scroll to a new video so we want to scroll to the next video and click again to the comments and do the same stuff so after we close the window let's sleep again for one second and now we want to scroll so pi auto GUI dot scroll and here you have to type how much you want to scroll so for now we need just 10 just write 10 but we also want to scroll down so to scroll down we have to type minus so minus 10 this is going to make the scrolling down like this okay now let's test it just type on terminal again python main.py and type your comment this is another another comment and we'll press enter then it will go to comments send the comment and then close it and scroll down as you can see it scrolled down to the next video so what we have to do now is just to make this action repeat it so we want to repeat this action how many times the user wants so we, for example we want to comment on 30 videos and this is going to happen 30 times so let's first get the input from the user so to ask user how many it, it wants I'll create a variable here just how many I'll call it how many and equal to input and here I'll type please put how many videos you want to comment okay so now we got this variable and to, to do this action repeated what we have to do is to create a for loop so here before this I will go two lines below and I'll type for I in range range how many so we want to repeat this for loop how many times the user want then what you have to do now is just to select all this code here below the for loop and just press tab in your keyboard just press tab so this will add four spaces to each of these lines and fix the indentation for this code now this action all this code is will be repeated uh, multiple times so let's put another comment here scrolling and here we go so let's test the bot now just type python main.py and here it will ask you to put the comment this is just a test comment and it asks you please put how many videos you want to comment so type 5 so I want to comment on 5 videos okay so it shows me an error and this is happening because this variable is a string for now and this we want it to turn into an integer and to turn it into an integer what you have to do is just to type int before this uh, variable so just type int and put brackets so put this how many inside brackets make sure to be like this so int how many okay now the, this will fix this problem and run the bot again put the comment this is a test comment and I want to do this five times and the bot will start okay as you can see it will go the first video scroll down go to the second one and it will continue like this on how many times you want and all this process is done automatically you don't have to do anything you can leave this running onto your computer okay now the bot is finished and as you can see it comments um, five times and something I want to say is that don't move this window like the here right here don't move the TikTok app because if you move the the bot will click on here and not in the app again so make sure to leave it in the corner as we did before and then you can start the bot how many times you want 
Okay, guys, this was a bot for today. This is how you can build a bot for TikTok that can comment automatically using Python and PyAuto GUI. It's just a simple code. And also, if you want this code, you can find it on my GitHub. I can share the link on the description. This is the uh, repository where you can find the get location file and also the main.py file. Here is all the code you can find in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos. Peace.